Hello dear viewer and welcome back to Nexomon on iOS with me, Jelanon. This will probably be a shorter episode. Uh, We're going to try to find all the legendaries. Now, in order to do so, I'm trying to think of who would be best. And honestly, our current team is basically designed to kill Omnicron, right? Not necessarily to kindly defeat legendaries and catch them. So... Let's see, who do we get rid of? We'll get rid of Voltasphere. Mm, who else? Hurustax, pretty good. It's low level compared to my other dudes. Ramu, you're too great. You're too amazing. I'm sorry. <sighs> you don't make the cut. Ooh, you know what? Let's have fun. These are the stats of Reborn Mistralian, 10 levels below our other Mistralian. Its stamina alone is plus 50, that's pretty great. Its attack is almost the same, 10 levels below. Same with defense. So, so yeah, the reborn mechanic, super good. Okay, hmm, who else do we want? I think we're gonna take Vivizard. Yep. Okay, Hydrax maybe? Why not? I guess Beatum's only 46. You know what? We'll deposit. No, we'll keep Hydrax just in case. Uh, yeah, we'll deposit Kitsunox. Who else is low level? Let's do it by level. Hmm. I mean, Fetidu maybe. Let's take Favolia. Hmm. Let's do rarity now. Hmm. Maybe Gritch? Nah. I think we're okay. We'll try it. So let's check their skills. Because I think her stag is fine for catching at the moment. Uh, except we will decrease that down to Turbulent Toss. The spinning attack's probably too OP at the moment. You can take Headbutt. Okay, Vizard. We got Poison. Yeah, I think we're good. Yep. Hydrax. Hmm. Let's go with this one and this one. Or that one. That one. I don't know if sleep helps us catch things, so we'll try it. Okay. So we'll try this team. We'll save it. Okay, and last episode was basically the showcase and review of Nexomon. I'm not sure when I'll pop this one out afterwards. But if you wanted to see my <laughs> half-legendary hunting, half-stream-of-consciousness review... You can watch that. It's in the playlist. Other than that, ooh, another item. So yeah, the game world does refresh with diamonds in lots of places now. And once we hit about 480, I'll probably get eight gold Nexo boxes. Oh, I forgot about this area. Come on, team! Okay. Now, in the review, if you've seen it, you know that sadly, it said a legendary was nearby pretty much when I couldn't find any wild grass to step through. Nor was it an area where next one just randomly appears, as far as I could tell. Because I did run around like crazy trying to find it, but did not work. 
Sadness was mine. So maybe there's a patch of grass somewhere that I couldn't get to, except going through another area. I really don't know. Good, and it looks like Turbulent Toss isn't doing much damage. So that should be good for catching legendaries still. That's the hope. Okay. Sharif. Oh, I'm out of stamina. All right then. Uh, Frope. Oh. The ice, it burns. Let's try headbutt. Okay. So maybe while hunting legendaries, it would be effective to have multiple elements for just such an occasion. And of course, as we beat stuff up, we're going to level up a little bit. I'm okay with that, because I think the legendaries are around level 50, if I remember correctly. It's been a little bit since I fixed Luxodown, but uh, a frog. And I forgot to switch my team again. Let's just run. Because that's probably faster overall. Okay. Let's switch our teammates. And give a little bit of stamina to our Hurastag. Yoink. We'll use one more. It'll be a while before it levels up and gets its stamina back. Okay. Anything else? No? Hmm. So yeah, legendary hunting. It doesn't appear that you do have to go in any form of order, since I saw it up here in that random area, where there's that painter before the jungle. So it should just be looking around and finding it, hopefully. It's not being super effective at the moment. We, But we're kind of reliving the game at the same time, so that's kind of fun. It's like, oh, you remember this room and our super cool idea to overthrow Spencer and stuff like that, and then how it didn't work out, but it sort of did. Oh, you're such a good design. But I have to take you down. Sorry. And I gotta save my Nexo traps for the legendaries. And now I'm paralyzed. Great. Okay. Well, yeah, you could also use this opportunity as an excuse to go wander around. Top support. Alright. Getting some more levels on our weaker Nixomon. Still okay with that, once again. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to just get legendaries. I am kind of wondering if it'd be worth getting that rare and above only Nexomon item. The, uh, I think it's called the lure? I don't know. It's in the store. I don't really care to look at the moment. But, basically, it would potentially cut down all these commons and uncommons and maybe... Ooh! Vivizard, you're here! I didn't realize you lived in sewers. Well, good seeing you, bud. You helped us a lot. Okay, then. else should we try to do to try to gain more legendaries seems pretty hit or miss at the moment I mean it makes sense that they're less common than mega rare hmm. so I wonder if even getting that charm thing would make mega rares more prevalent at all or if it just make uncommons more prevalent than commons and stuff or no rares sorry just so basically my point being does it change the statistical probability of the mega rares and above or only the rares because 
Something has to fill that vacuum when you cut out the commons and uncommons. And the question is, how much of that vacuum is taken up by just the raiders? Yeah, anyway. Let's go down, down, down to Nexo Traps. Because we need more of you. I have like ten when I face the Luxa down. And not a one worked. So, here we go. Let's get another like twenty of these. It's too bad there's no easy button. Oh, we got a bunch of Nexo Traps now. So hopefully none of the legendaries will self-destroy themselves. Self-destruct. So you know what? It might just make sense. To just do this back and forth. Let's find out. Because it loads a new instance. If it has something to do with distance you travel, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. Hmm. We'll try this and see if anything changes for another three minutes or so. So yeah, if you have any comments, questions, let me know. I could try to contact the Light Turtle team. Anything here? This might be pretty dumb. Not gonna lie, this might be dumb. I wonder if using the warp totems would also reset stuff. Aha! That took maybe a minute. Okay, let's save. I wonder if you can save scum. Probably not. Lin, you're cool, but you ain't legendary. Okay. Now let's get some more stamina. Ether. All oh, right, I healed everything. What am I doing? <laughs> Fanfro, not now. Okay, we're leveling up though. That's nice. Got all our stamina back. No, legendary, where? Ah, Fanfrau! Okay. So, it also disappears over time. Wow. That feels like a kick to the face. Okay. Well, we do know we could just spend a minute. Doing this over and over. So the real question is, should we try to do this in an area where there's less grass? So then it has a smaller area to appear in and a lower chance of us missing it when it appears. So you know what? We might just go around the world looking for that perfect patch of grass in two areas. And then we can also find diamonds at the same time. Yep, that's a new plan. Okay, but now we know you can just go back and forth constantly. But... If there's a lot of moving grass, that kind of kills the whole point. Okay. So this area has two patches of grass. So that's not a bad area. We could, in fact, just... Go here and back. Huh. Any other grass? No more diamonds? No. Ah! What have I done? Done for all! Not now! Okay. Now then, let's go on a journey to find the perfect patch of legendary grass. So, we were just at Khan's jungle. We'll go back to Khan's jungle. And then next time, dear viewer, our search for the perfect patch of grass will continue. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did. And have a great day.